Isaiah 13. It's a reminder, a powerful reminder of God's sovereignty and the consequences of pride and disobedience. See, no matter how powerful a nation or a people or a person may be or think they are, you never escape God's authority or God's justice. This chapter is a call, a reminder to check our attitude and our daily actions. One lesson this chapter speaks of is to examine and prioritize the difference between true treasure, spiritual riches, versus wealth and, well, worldly gain. And to never forget God's justice is always, it's always righteous. The great nation of Babylon in that day, known for its wealth and might, will experience, well, they're gonna experience God's judgment. God will always be just, sovereign, holy, as well as loving. Listen to God's word to Babylon and verse 11. I will punish the world for its evil and the wicked for their iniquity. I will halt the arrogance of the proud and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. God says, I'm going to deal with Babylon. This is true for the physical Babylon then and now the spiritual Babylon, which represents the world we live in with all of its injustice, with all of its wickedness. Yes, God is loving, but never forget that God is just and he will deal with the wicked. If you read chapter 13, remember this. It's about the powerful nation of Babylon in that time and in that day. But it's also about the spiritual Babylon, the world we live in today, that one day God will judge. One day, even though he's just, even though he's sovereign, even though he's loving, God will deal with the iniquity of mankind. We live in a spiritual Babylon and God is going to be just, sovereign, as well as loving. That's the story of chapter 13 of Isaiah. It's an amazing look at the justice of a loving God.